negotiations with Saudi clubs and the intention on both sides, player and club, to continue together to have Varane as crucial player for this season. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, we touch on Rafa Varane. What's going on with Saudi clubs? Chelsea signing. It's done, it's not done, it's collapsed. What's going on with the Brazilian guy? And also, we touch on Benjamin Pavard, following Balogun. Let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, let me start today's video by mentioning the situation of Rafa Varane because in the last 24 hours we had rumors for Gabriel Magalhaes and uh, Ali Tihad uh, and I told you in a video yesterday night no chance for Arsenal, Gabriel Magalhaes is untouchable and he's staying at the club. So Gabriel is not going to Saudi. But then we had also rumors about Rafael Varane and the possibility to move to the Saudi league. From what I'm hearing, guys, I was checking on all sides, club and player side, the feeling is very clear. Varane will stay at Manchester United, wants to stay at Manchester United, is crucial player for Eric Ten Hag, who always considered uh, Varane and Lisandro Martinez as the starters of the team. And of course, Victor Lindelof, who is doing excellent. Uh, and despite link with Rennes around, nothing took place in terms of negotiations. And also for Ten Hag, is crucial player. So these three are untouchable for Maguire. In case they receive 30 million pounds, the player remains available on the market. But we know that the deal with West Ham collapsed. So for Rafa Varane, no negotiations with Saudi clubs and the intention on both sides, player and club, to continue together to have Varane as crucial player for this season. Many Chelsea fans, uh, I see also on social media, asking what's going on with the deal for David Washington from Santos to Chelsea. That was not an easy deal, eh? because Chelsea agreed terms with Santos, then Monaco till the end tried to hijack the deal, but it was impossible because David Washington only wanted Chelsea. Chelsea agreed all the terms of the deal with Santos. It's a 16 million euros deal plus 4 million euros in adults, so 20 million euros package for uh, David Washington, who was born in 2005 and is one of the most talented Brazilian uh, players in South America. But what is important to say is that the player already completed the medical test. The player was already in London, so everything is ready. It's just about documents and formal steps to make the deal happen. But sources are telling me that the deal as of today, is absolutely not in danger and that the Chelsea will proceed with David Washington deal. So that's the feeling and no panic around that negotiation with David Washington expected to be announced soon as new Chelsea player if all goes to plan. But again, on all sides, they are very relaxed and convinced that they're not going to be any issue. What's important to say also, guys, is that Benjamin Pavard will not join Manchester United. At least, as of today, the situation is very clear. Pavard is going to Inter. Agreement between Inter and Bayern for 30 million euros guaranteed fee plus two in addons. So Inter and Bayern have everything ready. The player has the agreement ready with Inter. Medical test will be booked soon. What is needed is for Bayern to find a replacement. So let's wait for that step of the story and then Pavard will be able to join Inter. He was close to my United. He wanted my United, but for my United with Maguire staying is impossible to proceed for Benjamin Pavard due to technical reasons but also to the financial fair play and then let me finish this video by mentioning Fuller in Balogun guys I have many questions about Chelsea and the reality from what I heard is that Chelsea last week during the conversations they had for uh, Romeo Lavia multiple conversations with the same agents they had conversations also about Balogun it's like being informed but let me clarify that this is something very normal in football if you meet with an agent to close a deal or to negotiate a deal if he has other clients or other players it's very normal to discuss about other player situation cost of the deals is something absolutely regular at the moment there is not a concrete negotiation or a concrete bid for Chelsea to Arsenal so let's see what's going to happen Chelsea asked about the situation of Balogun but at the moment still no negotiation. For sure, Arsenal remain on their position. Who wants Balogun has to pay important money. Inter knew that and that's why they left the conversation last week for Balogun. But also Monaco had a bid rejected, something around 30-35 uh, million euros with Sam Edons was not enough to convince Arsenal. And so sources feel that Monaco will return for Balogun. Let's see what Chelsea will decide to do in terms of new striker. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories, including uh, Rafael uh, Varane, the situation of Benjamin Pavard, but also uh, following uh, Balogun and David Washington, who is joining Chelsea. I wait for your comments. Here, as always, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, and see you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.